I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing the action. I'm seeing the conversation from the conscious community to what's supposed to be brought forward is just going to go down. Folks going back and forth in their mind about whether or not it's going to be about bringing this sovereignty. Let me just paint it out for you. You're either a character in the game, acting out on the script, trapped in your own mind and your consciousness, not making decisions because you keep bouncing around the thoughts. Should I do it? Should I not do it? Should I do it? I'm just not going to do anything. It's easy not to do anything. This is this is it. You're either going to get into this or you're going to keep repeating because you keep sitting back, letting stuff happen right in front of your face. It is being broadcasted to you. And we are not actually doing what we're supposed to do. We have to create our own platforms. We have to actually get the people educated. We have to work with the children. We have to do all of this. And, and who do I see? Nobody engaging because all y'all are sleep. Y'all sleep. And you don't even get it. If you can hear this right now, then you have a chance. You got to have a cause. You got to have a passion. You got to have a mission. Your kids, you got to think about this. You got to enliven yourself. That is you. And you're not going to keep yourself protected from this. Your kids are not going to be protected. And that's how you're not going to be protected because you didn't do something to create an alternative reality. That's what this is about. This is about time travel. That's why time travel is all over everywhere. Everybody's a time traveler. There's no such thing as time we invented it and then we created the entire program around it to loop the DNA and loop the memories. Now you got us living in not paradise, paradise lost. You got us living in this crazy ass crooked world, spinning wildly on a global axis concept theory, new world order bullshit. So it has to change. So I have the power and you had the power to change it. And I'm going to keep going. I'm never going to give up. I will do this infinity. I live infinity. So at one point I will see a reality that is completely imbalanced. And I feel like that is now. Now let's just correct some things. I am not a color. I am not black. Do you go to another race and actually say, hey, yellow, yellow man, red man, you don't say that shit. Why? Because all those colors are related to a caste system of slaves. People have accepted the mentality of tribes, not tribe. They accepted the idea that we're all separate and we're not. We're all together. So there's no differentiation in something that is completely together. It's a code. Next code, Zion. They go keep next year when Buddy come out and play the basketball. Zion, Zion, Zion. Y'all just going to get that across the mainframe. Everybody going to send power into that. Or we're going to take that power and turn it into doing what we need to do. Let's get our own mainframes and services online. Understanding exactly where things are turning. So listen to what it really is. This is really about us getting together. We morph originals. We bring forth originals. We can take Human souls that have been put into clone programs or tetrahedron hive based programs and actually break them out of those cubes, the womb magic, and actually bring them into true my app through math by learning the frequencies and the harmonics and the tones and the vibration that the body needs in order to stay into the actual original design of the creators. Every day you don't do something, you die. For that day, the big hand on the clock is turning every single night and you're dying and you're forgetting where you are. You're forgetting what's going on because you don't have the passion and the strong will to live because that has tied into something that you're actually doing, something you're protecting, professional technology, something that causes you to make you want to be aware through existence. And I already said for all those cats that feel like they're going to escape and get away. Remember, the Tibetans and the Buddhists and all of them, they had already done all that. They went to the extreme extreme, going into the caves, going to the darkness. But what comes forth from the darkness? Something screaming back into the light, ready to get in action again. What I'm saying is that many of them cats went in them caves. They didn't have anything. They nullified themselves. They nullified everything. They killed the passions. They reached nirvana. And then what? <laughs> what about your mama? Then what? What about your brother? So they come screaming back into the light. But on cave broke status. Trying to figure out how they're going to master their mainframe that's constantly metamorphosizing itself because of why. External controllers already being aware outside of time exactly how to move the mainframe, taking knowledge from the ancient people, continuously harvesting the minds in order to bring forth more seeds as seeds consume seeds. And guess what? Nothing is actually being done out of the laws of the design. Seeds eat seeds. It is a sacred honoring to allow the consumption of something to be transformed into something greater. But if the consumption of something is transformed into something less then you will experience less. And that's where we are. And that's where we rise from. I'm glad I got a chance to see the bottom. It's like a spring to the top. And I will always return here. 
So we say, oh, that's a Messiah program. You're in a program. You're around a program. You think in a program. You speak in a program. You better learn the program. And you better actually figure out how to manifest the program for yourself. What do you think your ancestors was doing? They had time to spend back and sit back and create 50,000 different types of beetles. <laughs> they had time to sit back and experience the limitless. And they're there now.